Now there's a lot of things out there. I'm seeing me, a man call me, who's supposed to be one of the people that have the capabilities of blocking somebody. Let me say, blocking somebody from left in the country. And the man called me and asked me if I went to the airport and get black. Ranks decided that they are not going to be a part of this illegal scheme to learn the money through the police. That is true. 60.5 million Ghana dollars. The ranks are being victimized. The ranks have been removed from the location. Although all of this is going on, why I have to come to front and talk about it? Yes, you don't prove no point to nobody. No, why I do talk about it, I'm gonna prove a point, but why I do talk about it, in lesser of a magnitude than what is happening in my life, these things are happening in everybody's life. The tyrannical conduct, and when at last I checked, that is an offense against discipline, um, in, in the police force, acts in a tyrannical ma manner towards a, an inferior in rank. Acts in a, a tyrannical They say the people are acting tyrannically. They cuss you, they run up to you. Senior people want to challenge your fight and all this everything. That is what is going on. That is what is going on. I see, and look, you gotta talk about these things, man. I don't care. I'm telling you the truth. The Evidence is there. Well, you still didn't get your ticket. This flight takes off every single day. Tap that subscription button. Thanks. Bring this reproof to yourself by your actions. You understand? Yeah. Now there's a lot of things out there. I'm seeing a, a man call me who's supposed to be one of the people that have the capabilities of blocking somebody. Let me say, blocking somebody from left in the country. And the man called me and asked me if I went to the airport and get black. I said, if you ain't black me, who black you me? Oh, exactly. Yes, and the man, no, but yeah. just for, to understand the, the, the reality and the perception, right? This is a man who is an authority who would know or would cause for somebody to get black. He has a car. He don't know if he get black or not. No, but outside of that, it's good people. Remember people calling people. It's a small country we live in. It. But I mean like the worry, the genuine worry and care. You understand? When me here, they make it, me get me even know me when the airport, they make it, it. No, other people who are insecure and is afraid of their egos being bruised would go now and fly and go somewhere for sure that they can me. Me ain't got no time I like doing what you got to do, partner. Exactly. You understand? You really to know. But you really me in wiling up every day I learning different things. You understand? Exactly. Every day I learning different things. I losing people every day. You imagine in me company in January, we reduce the staff by 35% and increase productivity by 50%. Exactly. Yesterday, last year, I was doing extremely well. This year, we going through the roof. Yes, eh? Although right, right. all of this is going on, why I have to come to front and talk about it? Yes, you don't have to prove no point to nobody. No, why I do talk about it. I ain't got to prove a point, but why I do talk about it. In lesser of a magnitude than what is happening in my life, these things are happening in everybody's life. Whether it is the grudge of a mother, the grudge of a father, a neighbor, a friend, you understand? So, people are afforded the opportunity to live vicariously through me by seeing how I deal with things. One love, Delta 9 family, welcome back to the flight. And if this is your first time flying with us, hit that subscription button, buddy. Stay updated with everything that's going on in Guyana and the diaspora. Thanks. So last time, when the president fly out, right? Remember when he had to go and do that sit down with Maduro? Guess who was there? Critic was there, right? And he was covering and giving the footage and, you know, making sure that everything was documented and that the journalism was to a particular quality and we appreciate that there was other persons that was on the ground as well guard mosley was there and other journalists was there and it was well covered now there's this rumor going around 
I don't know if anyone else caught wind of it, or I don't know if critics see the same video I see. But, you know, they're saying that critics can't fly right now. They're saying that, allegedly, he can't leave Guyana. We don't know it's because of what. We don't know why. No, he got a number of things that's out there. There's a number of things that's in the air right now. Might it be the situation, allegedly, that he has between him and Ms. Brooms? Honorable Minister Simona Brooms? Where she is sweeping him up for half a billion? Because I don't know if there's a situation that might make a person go on the no-fly list. But there's also an allegation that it might be connected to the situation with the person that died on the work site, allegedly. Because there was, I don't know if you remember, the famous $5 million situation, right? Between he and the Mohammeds, allegedly. Might that be the situation that allegedly is causing him not to be able to fly? If that's truly the case, because remember, this is still speculation. Because today or tomorrow, the man might jump on a plane just to prove all that we wrong. Or, guess what? The speculation might be correct. Or, is the situation between him and the Mohammeds allegedly the reason why he can't fly right now? The new lawsuit that he get? Or, is it because of other things that we don't even know about that's going on and the covers that soon might come to light now this situation here is one that was serious enough for him to address on his morning show and we're glad that he came through and he cleared up the air because everybody's saying okay how come this time now when the president went to jamaica on a matter that's very important because i know if you are following up on what's going on with haiti right now but that situation right there is very dire and it's very important and it's important that persons in the caribbean pay attention to what's going on in haiti because i think a lot of persons don't understand the rest of the world is reaching out to do everything that they think that they should do for haiti right now right but the persons that are actually in the country, the actual Haitians is saying, listen, the same persons that are stepping in to help us, allegedly, are the persons that are creating the situation and the problem. Hegelian dialectic again at work. Problem, action, solution. Watch yourself. Pay attention to what's going on. The video's on the channel. Check it out when you get a chance. But back to what's going on is so with this critics allegedly not being able to fly. Now, this could all be an allegation, but one could still speculate. How come he wasn't on this trip? How come critics wasn't on this trip that would have been a nice trip for Gopon all the way to Jamaica? You know, would have been a nice a nice opportunity for him to now expand the media thing and take this journalism on a whole different level. Could it be allegedly that he couldn't fly? Could it be allegedly that he couldn't leave the country? Might the situation where the president, I don't know if you are following up with what the president and the VP were saying, but they're saying, look, people who owe a set of money, people who get a set of money for do certain government contract and they ain't taking care of what they're supposed to take care of, we can sanction them or we can deal with them. Who knows? That might be the reason allegedly why he can't fly. But that might all be an allegation. And this situation might be unfounded. Today or tomorrow, critics might show up some way and show me that, yo, I'm here, I'm there, and I could fly and go where I want to go. Right now, we're talking about other allegations that's going on in the GPF. And the good thing about it is this. You know, sometimes the best person to talk about anything is a person who's a part of it, a person who held a high rank in the, in the police force, is going to decode some of the matters that's going on in the police in the police force right now in the policing force that needs a lot of public attention because guess what it's very important to us because this is the set of persons that are left in charge of making sure that we are protected and safe 
from harm and bad actors in society. So we want to make sure that no bad actors are a part of this force. We want to make sure that this force is the best, not just in the Caribbean, but in the world. Why? Because Guyana deserve it. So we're going to get into some of the conversation coming from Commissioner Mr. Slow. He's going to give us some insights into some of the esoteric dealings in the GPF right now. We spoke about the demoralized police force and why so many persons are leaving. And you know, I we highlighted some 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 reasons. And my students have to remind me of some other reasons as well. Some other reasons. They said one of the things too. You get the extended squatter who is there demoralizing the force and not only the force they would not tell you but all the senior ones who are close to him only waiting to see his back turn because they can't as the saying go they can't take him some of them believe that he's too um but put it in Guyanese roadman talk he too dunce to lead them and therefore they act up that is demoralizing as well and then the, the opposite tell me you know they're compelling them, bullying them for clean drain and sweep road. Police constables. In this time when you have all this crime around the place, all the road accidents, they are they are compelled to clean the road and sweep drain. Cause you get CARICOM conference coming up or something, somebody coming to visit. Police ranks. Police ranks are sweeping road and cleaning drains. I, I remember sometime, might have been last year. There was a, the, the body of a rank. And I called the rank to wish the rank um, happy birthday. I said, hope you enjoy your day. You know the rank, the rank said, sir, enjoying day. Let me send you a picture. Let you see where you there. The rank sent me a picture. The rank was on the road cleaning on, on the rank's birthday. Compl I said, what are you doing? I said, well, I ain't got no choice. They, they compel you. If you ain't going to get trouble, so I decided to I can celebrate the body a little later, later. But the morning, the rank is on the road with broom and pick and, and thing, picking up things by the seawall and sweeping road and cleaning drain. So what are you, what are you telling people about you're unable to attract and retain? Or you're going to attract and retain um, and in those circumstances? Other people, they told me too about the tyrannical conduct of officers, especially some senior ones towards junior ranks. The tyrannical conduct. And when at last I checked, that is an offense against discipline um, in, in the police force. Acts in a tyrannical ma manner towards a, an inferior in rank. Acts in a, a tyrannical They say the people are acting tyrannically. They cost you. They run up to you. Senior people want to challenge your fight and all this everything. That is what is going on. That is what is going on. I see and look. I gotta talk about these things, man. I don't care. I'm telling you the truth. The evidence is there. And you, yes, Maureen, when you get ranks, I'm such a rank board day. Oh, man. Oh. Let me see how I should have a clean up, which should not happen in the first place. But it's a rank board day. You're gonna say, well, you're excused today, man. Your body, enjoy your body. No, the rank over there cleaning seawall, picking up shit in paper and, and pampers and all that sort of thing. And you want to tell me people are not demoralized? Ranks, look, the next one. Ranks, a rank is sick. Rank is sick, rank is sick leave. Right? And they are insisting that the rank must spend the sick leave in the barracks. And this barracks where they tell them to send spend sick leave in doesn't have facilities to accommodate the, the, the people. No proper bathing facilities, no proper thing. A person sick. And especially pre-COVID. You want to tell me pre-COVID, you are so backward to tell a rank who is sick that they must stay in the, the back room? What if the rank is suffering from COVID or some other contagious um, disease? You want them to spend in the back room? I know. Don't tell me about the standing order. I know it more than any one of you. Yeah, there's an old archaic thing in the standing order. Say if a rank can sick leave under certain circumstances, the rank has to get permission to spend it uh, at home. But pre-COVID, it should be automatic that once a rank is sick, the rank should be isolated, should be should go and spend your sick leave at home. Tyrannical behavior, the ranks are, well, I said, 
Yeah, I'm right, Patrick. I mean, post COVID. I was, I said, Prina, so I'll tell you about my students, you know, uh, post COVID, that is what I mean, or after COVID, right? Thanks very much for the correction. Thanks very much for the correction. I mean, post COVID. You want to tell me, even pre COVID ranks should not have been made to stay um, in, in the back room. But post COVID, yes. You want to tell me that ranks decided that they are not going to be a part of this illegal scheme to learn the money through the police. That is true. 60.5 million Ghana dollars. The ranks are being victimized. The ranks have been removed from the location. And as I've said before, let me check the law. I, you know, I expected the financial intelligence unit and all those people to pick up on it. But this guy and nobody else can pick up on anything because I am, I am, I was advised that the credit union is a financial institution under the laws of Ghana. And even though it's a police credit union, even though some or all of the ranks working there might be policemen and women, they have to have a separate management arrangement, a board of management, and no senior officer should be able to say transfer. But that is what happens. That is what has happened. Somebody want to know, have read the man to get back, he gone. I think so. I think the man had gotten back is gone. And in terms of the security company, they never got back the firearm while I was in the force. I understand that when I left in 2010, they approached Green and they didn't get back the firearm. And I said to, again, let them challenge me. I'm going to call all the names and so on. I'll call the name of the security company, the principals in the security company who are fronting for whom, and the people from Freedom House who call me uh, begging to intervene. Uh, intervention. So I, I, when I come, I come with facts. I come with facts. So yes, that is some of the reasons people say why people are leaving in numbers. And now you got this thing with people getting killed. Sergeant Vaughn. I don't know if Vaughn is married. I don't know if he has children. But a man got to walk the morning and choose some... Got to be carelessness based on what they say. This man is dead. And you want to tell me these things are not going to demoralize um, ranks in the force. You want to tell me it's not going to demoralize ranks in the force, and then they want to say um, again this extended squatter about cyber crime and social media influencers. So maybe Mr. Conway, they're referring to me, uh, uh, to, to, to us as social media influencers, and maybe very soon they're going to look for give me um, cyber crime charge. One hundred percent wild crafted CMOS from nature by natives why pay more we acknowledge the resignation of prime minister ariel Henry upon the establishment of a transitional presidential council and the naming of an interim prime minister we have to go back to understand that the, the root of this crisis is not last week, it's not this week, it's not even Ayer Henri, but we have to go back to 2004 with the coup d'etat. 